It's not often that I know what I'm talking about, but in this case, I think I might. Because when it comes to making a site on Bluehost, it can range from confusion to pure bliss, depending on if you have the right guidance. And today, I will be that guidance as we get you started on Bluehost and familiar with the basics. And if by any chance you don't have Bluehost but are watching this video, then that's quite the rabbit hole you've got there. But if you do want to try it out, then you can also get into it once you figure out how to get going by clicking on the link down below, which gives you access to an exclusive site-wide discount for Bluehost that you won't want to miss, especially if you're getting a business site off the ground. So if that tickles your fancy, then head down to the description below to check it out. Okay, so once you start building your website, what you want to do first and foremost is go to the left hand side and find plugins because you're going to want to install something called Starter. And Starter is just another platform to make your website. It's through Elementor, but I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. So basically you search Starter up and this is the first thing that should show up and you install it and then you go ahead and activate it. So when you do activate Elementor, your screen is going to be a little different. So first, it's going to ask you what type of website builder you want to use. So I believe on the left hand side, it should say web blocks. And then on the right side, it should say something with a beaver. In the middle, you'll find Elementor and that's the one we're going to go for. And so once you do get to this screen, uh, you'll have the option of picking the template for your website based on whatever genre or type of website you're building. So I don't have any website in particular because I actually have a sample website that I'm going to take you through and sort of show you how to maneuver that and how to customize it from the base up or the ground up, right? And so uh, really at this point, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to show you what happens until you get to that screen. So we'll pick this one. We'll pick the Love Nature one. And then from here, you can choose to change your logo. I don't have a logo to, to add, so I don't really need to change it, but you can change the the color palette of your website. So right now it's very minimal, but you can, once you check it out yourself, you can mess around with it and have more options. Depending on the template that you have, it will change more. But right now we'll just go with, um, we'll go with, no, that's a little too, too similar to the background. So we'll go with red. Red looks good. And you can also change your font. So I like this one and we're going to continue. From here, you have to uh, sort of tell it what your website is for or who it's for and enter your name. So once you do that, you uh, submit and save or submit and build your website. And then it's going to take you to a loading screen. And then I will show you what happens next. All right. So once that's done its thing, the engine will provide you with a site like this using the template that you picked. Obviously, I'm not going to use the template that I chose earlier. We're going to work on this one right here. And to actually work on our site, we're going to go up here where it says edit page. And to edit with Elementor, obviously, we're going to click on this button and then we're going to be in the creation station. And here is Elementor. This is a bit of an extension of the site that I've made and we're going to totally delete all of this and we're going to start from scratch. So as I've been promising throughout this whole video, let's actually start building the site. Now, the main thing that you need to know for Elementor is the sections. Once you figure out the sections, you're golden because all of this is basically drag and drop. So once we get started, it's going to come naturally to you. Obviously, there are nuances in the settings and customization processes, but basically what you want to know is how to get started, right? Hence why you're on the video. So what I recommend is going to the starter templates and then all of these are the themes and pre-made themes that you have, but we're not going to use that. You want to go to the blocks and select any of these. But for this, we're going to go with the header because we need something to kickstart our website. And you click on them and then you go to import block at the top to import whatever you've picked. And so to customize the text, you double click on it like this. And then you can customize or will change what's in the text box to customize the text. You got to go to the style up here and then you can change the color how you see fit and then change the font like this as well and uh, make it larger or smaller. And um, like I mentioned, you know, if you want to uh, drag and drop something, you just click it and then you drop it. It's as easy as that. And seeing as this is not very centered, I'm going to edit that so you can see right there. This is the outline and you just pick that to make it smaller. And then from there on out, what I recommend is every time you've made a change, you want to go down to the bottom and update it so it's saved. OK, so it's very basic. You don't want to lose it in case something happens. And then from here on out, let's go and add some more sections. Like I said, once you figure out the sections, it's, it gets a lot easier. So you're going to click on this or you can go down here and just click on this and select your structure. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to select a structure. And what I want to do is I'm going to pick these and I'm going to put some icons down below. So down here, we're going to place some icons and I'm going to exit out of this real quick. So I'm going to place some icons, like I said, for the third time. So I'm going to grab them right here. 
and put them into this section. Now I can duplicate them by clicking duplicates or if I want to add an image, I can do the same thing and then I can click on the button up there and then I have a have access to a library of images. Same thing goes for the icons. And then to the right here, I'm going to show you, uh, where is it, where is it? Yeah, so I'm gonna put a button. And then all of these, once you've actually like made them look nice and um, put them into a nice template, you can structure them accordingly. Now, some of these might not be centered and what you can do is space them out. So if you don't like how they're spaced, you can change them by adding a spacer. Or if you want a divider from the rest of the things on your site, you can add a divider. But what you gotta do is add another structure. So you can, oh, hold on. You can add a structure and then place it right above. And I didn't mention, apologize. To move this, you just gotta click on the six buttons up here and then it'll move freely. And so to add a divider, you just click on divider, drag and drop, and then you have a nice little divider separating from this top section. And that's pretty much really the gist of it. Um, everything you add, you can customize. If you wanna customize, oh, I have a button right here. If you wanna customize the button, you can double click to change the, the content of the text, or you can change the color by clicking on it and then doing the same thing there. And um, the other thing that I should probably tell you is that there are premium or pro features here, but since we don't have that, I'm not gonna go into depth. If you've upgraded Elementor, then you have that. But you also have other things down here which are general, like image boxes, um, social media icons, which I'm gonna add later on. So you can check through these and see which ones you wanna to add to your website. And so I'm not gonna to go too into depth into that because it could take like five minutes on every single one. So I just wanna give you a brief idea of what you have. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the website using the tools that I've already told you about. So I'm not gonna go outside of the boundaries and use some Mickey Mouse random tools that I didn't mention. I'm just gonna use the same things that I told you guys about and I'm gonna show you how it is possible to make a website with the bare minimum. So stick with me, I'll be right back with you in a minute and you'll see the magic of basic necessity. All right, and here is my website. It ended up being like a nature-related site. It's nothing special. I wasn't trying to impress you. This was done in like 10 minutes, so I wanted to give you an idea of what you can do in a short amount of time and how you can customize it. So if you have more imagination than me, you can definitely go and go crazy with this, but I just wanted to show you what I came up with and how I use my basic tools. So to actually preview, to see how other people are gonna witness your site, then you can go and click on preview changes to see how visitors are gonna find your site. And so here is basically how they're gonna see it. They're not gonna see any of the clutter. Uh, it's very sleek, I'd say at the very least, the, the icons really make it come together. And so yeah, I added a contact sort of address section and yeah, apparently I'm Tyler Moore. And so yeah, that's basically all I really have for this video. I wanted to show you guys how that works. Um, if you have any more questions, definitely leave them down below. But yeah, there's nothing really to add on to it because we did a lot more than we could with what we had beforehand. So with little, we did a lot. So that's basically what I was trying to go for. In any event, if you believe Bluehost is a good fit for you, then keep in mind that there's a site-wide discount in the description below. This discount will leave you with some extra funds for your business, so before closing this video, make sure to explore that offer. And if you found the video enjoyable, please consider hitting the like button to get it to other folk who are also contemplating Bluehost and need some help getting started. Also, don't forget to subscribe as it would bring a smile to my face. But as for now, that is all from moi. Until the next video, take care and I will see you later.